Hey there, it's Carrie Roldan here and it's another Wednesday in my living room and I wanted to make you a video because I was just thinking about something that I realized when I talk to people about this, it's another one of those things where they have their ahas. So I thought I'd see if I can give you your aha. And it's about you and your relationship with your business. So lots of, lots and lots of solopreneurs, lots of people who I work with who tend to be um, coaches, or authors or experts in some way. I work with a lot of um, healers and energy workers, but I work with a lot of people who are solopreneurs. And the common misconception among these people is, um, I am my business. And so the first thing that I just wanna tell you is just because you're a solopreneur, doesn't mean that you are your business, right? It may even feel like that, but your business, just like a book, just like you know, a program that you create, your business is coming through you, but it is not you. And if you think about this, then you can understand that you are in relationship with your business. So I really like this idea of this, that your business came through you but it has its own wants, it has its own needs, it has its own desire, and it has its own destiny. Your business has its own purpose. It has wants, needs, like it has things that it needs to accomplish in order to be fulfilled, just like you have things that you need to accomplish in order to be fulfilled. And so it's sort of a weird thing to think that you are, maybe, maybe it's not, think that you are in relationship with your business but I want that just to really sink in. I want that to be your perspective shift for today is that your business isn't you and it's, it's not entirely separate from you, um, but you and your business are in relationship and you need to listen to its wants and needs and desires and where it wants to go and, and what it feels um, like it wants to do next just like it needs to listen to you and what your goals are and what you wanna accomplish um, so that you and your business can be co-creators, that you and your business can collaborate, that you as the solopreneur can help your business to achieve whatever it's meant to achieve and it can be a vehicle to help you achieve whatever you're meant to achieve. So I don't know if I've made this clear to you or not. Sometimes when I get these ideas in my head and I'm just speaking into the camera, um, I honestly don't know if what's coming out is resonating. So I would love if you would leave me a comment and you would let me know. But I really just want that to, to be the message for today is that you are not your business. Your business has its own wants, needs, and desires. It has come through you. Um, and it, I don't want to say using because that's not really the right word, but I can't think of the word, right word. So that it is using you to achieve its destiny as much as you are using it to achieve your destiny. And when you think of it that way, that you and your business are in relationship, right? Just like you and your spouse are in relationship or you and your parents are, in, I like the idea of a spousal one, but like, the, so this is like a marriage with you and your business and you have to listen to each other and you have to respect each other. Sometimes you might have to compromise with each other but if you can look at each other with unconditional love, if you can look at your business with unconditional love and only want the best for it, only want your business to achieve what it is meant to achieve and truly listen to it and what that is, then your business will do the same for you. All right, so I hope that hit you differently today. I hope it got you to think differently. I would love to know um, how it affects you, so leave a comment or a question below. Um, and I'm always here, so if you're feeling like you need a teammate on the entrepreneurial journey and you're ready to talk to see what that looks like, um, why don't you give me a holler? You can apply for a strategy session with me at carryroldoncom forward slash apply. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a good week.